I deal with the reality of having a payroll. Um, I got to make a payroll on Friday. In fact, I make 52 payrolls a year. That's the reality of business owners. And what's really insulting is the fact that so much government overreach, increased taxation. Ask any business owner, any business owner, what it's been like to try to gain a permit for construction or for other purposes. It's ridiculous these days. Senator Ernie Chambers said in his motion to recommit legislative resolution 35 back to committee the following. The language in the thing itself is so inflammatory, so demeaning and insulting, so totally erroneous, that nobody with the level of education that Senator Ebke has would put something like this before the legislature to try to get the legislature to support it, and then send it to Congress, to the head of the Senate, the Speaker of the House, to all the members who are in leadership positions, and the rest of the state, showing just how dumb Nebraskans are. Senator Chambers' comments indicate the federal government has no impact on the state or the American people. I'm with Mark Adamson, a business owner in the Omaha area. Mr. Adamson, what do you think about Senator Chambers' comments? Well, Senator Chambers has a right to his opinion, um, but I'm dealing with reality. I wonder if Senator Chambers has ever made a payroll uh, and understands the risks of what it means to own a business and to make a payroll. Smart, small businesses is the heart and soul of America. Small business owners are not evil, they're not greedy. Small business owners employ people, they pay taxes, and their employees pay taxes in turn. Article 5, uh, Convention of the States, may be the last best hope we have to save our republic from these types of regulations and taxes. When people ask me, what is the greatest threat to my business? I tell them it's not our competition. I can deal with our competition. The biggest threat to our business is actually overreaching federal government, and in some cases, state government. Most of these businesses, most of the small business people operate on a profit margin that is 5% or less. And one of the things that I would want to tell uh, Senator Chambers is that we pay ourselves last. Any small business person knows that. We pay ourselves last after we pay our employers, after we pay our taxes, after we pay our rents, after we pay our utilities, then we hope that there's something left over for ourselves. What does Article 5 do for us? Well, our founding fathers were very, were brilliant men. And they installed in our Constitution, in Article 5 of the Constitution, a sort of fire alarm that we could pull in the event that the federal government became too large and overreaching. It's time for us to pull that fire alarm. It's time for us to take our country back. It's time for us to restore small business and ethic and work to our country.